Hi, I'm Denise from Learning Brook and I want to walk you through registering online. Once registration is um, available, this button here um, on the top will say um, register here. And you click on that and it should bring you to the registration page. Um, for new families, you need to log in and um, put your email in. So I'm just going to pretend my name is I'm mean, going to want to do a sample one. I don't want to put my real name. I'll put Denise Smith. And my email, it will be smith at smith.com. And my relationship, you're supposed to be the parent or legal guardian of the child. You put in a password and you'll want to save this. I'll just, you know, it has to be five letters. Um, we can always reset it if you forget. And this will bring you to the applications. It has a few facts here just saying that, you know, you have to be the parent and call the office if you have any questions. So then it'll show what um, sessions are available. I'm going to 2020 application. And here I am in the 2020 application. Um, so the things that are um, underlined in red are required fields. So you'll need to put in, this is for your camper. You're going to, how did you hear about us? It's a mandatory field. Um, you're going to have to select that, and this is the camper's information. I'm going to use my dog's name. And you need certain things. I'm going to put in um, a 10-year-old because once you put in the age, it um, will show the programs available for that age child. It won't show you everything. Um, it will only show the ones available. begin my application. So um, a couple things. Um, we ask that everybody does two cons at least two consecutive weeks for day camp, but if you really need to do one, um, if you um, just have a call to the office and we'll talk you through it and um, we can get that approved. This is the required deposits uh, for each program and Waltham residents do get a discount. Um, so if you select that, it will bring up the Waltham price. If you select no, it'll bring everyone else's price. So this is um, the programs that are available um, for a 10-year-old. Um, our vacation camp, we do uh, February and April of school vacation. Discovery days, that's the early camp week, June 22nd, I believe the date is. Um, day camp um, is eight weeks. Adventures um, runs day trekkers every week of the summer, and we have an art um, camp this season, uh, intro to visual arts, and a theater program, and a regular visual arts program. But for this example, we're just going to register for day camp. So you select how many weeks you want to register for. I'm selecting four, and then you pick the weeks, ideally four consecutive, um, or at least two consecutive, and then the next two. Um, so we select that. And then we continue on at the bottom. And you put in your household information, your address. I'll put the address here for um, 785 Beaver Street. That's the wrong name. And just put in your required, again, the underlined things are the required fields. Um, So it makes you put in something and move on down. This is second parent or guardian. Fill that in. If you don't have a second parent or guardian, just cancel that and it'll, you know, clear that one out. Um, this is emergency contact in case we can't reach you. We need somebody else. Um, and then a promo code if applicable. Um, and then hit continue and it will tell you if you you know, didn't put in a required field. Well, this is um, something new this year. We're um, letting people register for the bus um, one way so they can do either morning or afternoon or both. Um, but you just have to, here's all the bus stops. 
Um, we have a abbreviated bus schedule for the discovery days a week with just three stops. And the rest of the summer is down here. All the stops are listed. Um, we're offering a late bus this year, which is new. So after extended day, um, there's a bus home, but you are required to register for extended day in the afternoon to take that late bus. So we registered for week one through four. So we want to select the additional options for week one through four if we're interested in those. So I'm selecting additional options and I'm going to say we're going to do the um, late bus and PM extended day. You are required under each bus to fill in the bus stop. And remember the bus stops are above here. Like I'm going to do the Dallin stop for the late bus. So I'm just going to type in here Dallin. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact. It doesn't have to say Dallin Elementary. It just has to be so we can figure it out what bus stop you want. Um, and I'm just going to select it for the one, but if I want it for everyone, and if I want to do something different, I want the morning bus and the late bus and the extended day. It lets me do different things every week. Uh, but you are required to fill in the bus stop. And that's something you can change later on if you need to but we, it is required on registration. Oops, I have an error. AM bus, see, it's asking me the bus, but I can pick a different bus if I want, like we can do the bracket school in the morning. Some people have asked to do that in the past. That's why we did it this year. All right, additional info. Um, a current photo of your camper, even if you're a returning family, we love a current photo just so we have, um, you know, we can know what, what the kid looks like. <laughs> um, friend requests, we ask that you just put in one friend request and ideally if it's mutual. We don't guarantee them but we try to do our best. Um, kids we don't want to place your camper with um, just helps us out if we know a little bit of info. Um, have we covered everything? If your child needs any extra attention at camp this is a good little um, button to, to push yes and um, someone will give you a call and you can just talk through things. Um, or if your child doesn't need any extra um, attention or we don't need to know any other info, just select no. And it's preparing your application. So this will show what I'm registered for, so it's good for you to review um, to make sure you, you pick the bus um, each way, what you wanted, and shows the amounts and it shows your deposit. Deposit for day camp is $400 plus a $50 registration fee. Um, one of the policies that we've changed this year a little bit is that um, you can only drop two weeks once you register. You can drop two weeks by January 31st. Um, so be careful what you register for. Um, you can drop two weeks without a fee, uh, without any you know penalty, but after January 31st, they're yours unless there's somebody on the wait list for that. Um, and then you um, select how you'd like to make a payment. If you pay by e-check, there's no fee associated with that. If you pay by um, debit or credit card, um, they will charge you a convenience fee of 3%. And that will be added right on to your charge. And then you select that and you hit continue. You need to add the bank info, and I'm not going to do that here, but if you hit continue and it will process the payment. Um, hope that helps. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to call the office at 781-314-0994. Thanks.